Radhe, greetings, greetings everyone. So today I was just thinking again about this verse from Bhagavad Gita. Krishna says, uh, happiness, rejoicing and illumination come from within. So happiness comes from within, not from without. It doesn't come from anything external. This is what Krishna is saying. So it doesn't come from bank balance and fancy holidays and fancy cars and this and that. <laughs> no, uh, Krishna says happiness comes from within. So, <clears throat> we have a first class example of this in the Six Goswamis. As we know, they lived a very renounced life, uh, didn't have a house, they would sleep under a tree different nights and hardly any clothing and uh, sleeping very little, hardly any food. Of course, we can't imitate them, but still, it gives us encouragement to understand what is real happiness, where to look for real happiness. Uh, if you are looking for something and you're looking in the wrong direction, this is a waste of time, waste of energy. But the ex six Goswamis are giving us an example of where to look uh, for real happiness. Um, they were always blissful, always blissful. Why? Because they're uh, completely absorbed in uh, Krishna consciousness, uh, fully in love with the holy name, the holy form, past times of Radha Krishna. Um, this was their source of happiness. And of course, that happiness is, as we hear, it, it, it cannot be disturbed by anything material. Uh, this is extraordinary that nothing material can disturb it. Uh, therefore, it is not dependent on any external circumstance. So this is real happiness. We know now where to look for it, um, where to find it. And of course, all we need now is the energy, the encouragement to continue on that path. And this we get from association with devotees, from hearing from the great Acharyas, uh, from constant practice and total dedication. This is what Krishna says is necessary. So, wishing everyone much uh, blessings from the great souls. Radhe Radhe.